foresters, and ecosystem ecologists, often inventory biomass or carbon stocks, but it is not necessary to measure every kilo of biomass within a forest. To directly measure biomass or carbon stocks, we'd have to dissect every tree in the forest. Even though that's not practical, we can, est we can estimate all forest biomass or carbon using allometric equations. Allometry studies how parts of an organism scale with its size. We use allometry, or allometric relationships, to estimate hard-to-measure quantities from easily measured variables. For instance, we can estimate dry biomass of a tree from its diameter, or estimate the leaf area of a tree from its sapwood area. It's hard to measure tree biomass, tree leaf area, or the biomass of a forest. However, Using allometry we can dissect a few trees and develop relationships that describe how tree parts scale with size. Once we have allometric relationships for a tree species, we can use them to estimate difficult to measure structural features based on simple measurements. To build allometric equations for trees, we need to dissect several trees of different diameters. We weigh each type of tissue to get its fresh biomass. We also take subsamples of each tissue back to the lab. For instance, we might take a bag of needles, some representative branches, or stem, or stem cookies and use those to determine their moisture content. Moisture content is used to convert total fresh weight from the field into dry weight. The dry weight of each tissue scales with tree diameter so it's possible to plot a tree's dry mass for each tissue against its diameter. By dissecting only a few trees, it's possible to build a very close allometric relationship that allows us to predict tree biomass based on stem diameter. We can also use allometry to determine the amount of foliage in the canopy, which tells us about the forest's ability to convert sunlight into biomass. There is strong allometry between live foliage and the sapwood area that is required to maintain the hydraulic connection between roots and leaves. Sapwood area can be measured by cutting the stem and measuring the area of the sapwood. However it can also be measured by taking a tree core at breast height. By using a little geometry, we can determine the sapwood area. Can you think how to calculate sapwood area from a tree core? We'll The allometric equation that describes stem biomass in relation to its diameter is naturally a power function with two constants, A, is the multiplier, and B, is the exponent. There are different forms of allometric equations, but this form is most commonly used for describing biomass as a function of stem diameter. Allometric biomass equations are available for many tree species. The Termikalian article compiles pages of published equations, and, the Global Lome website, includes tree allometric equations from forest trees found across the globe. Tree allometric equations are used to estimate stand volume and biomass, and are commonly used to inventory forests. Such allometric equations are commonly known as volume equations and biomass equations. Volume and biomass equations are available in the literature for all major timber species. For foresters use volume equations to inventory the economic value of a forest prior to harvest. Ecologists use biomass equations to estimate standing crop, and the content of carbon and nutrients. Given accurate biomass equations, an ecologist can measure tree diameters on a plot in two consecutive years. These consecutive measurements provide estimates of forest productivity, or how much nitrogen the stand accumulated during that year. We also use allometric equations to assess downwoody debris, which is important for assessing fuels and modeling wildfire behavior. We will build and use allometric equations in both class and labs. You may even see one show up on an exam. Allometric equations are useful mathematical tools for forestry and ecosystem sciences.